secrets of my head Oh, how they burden me These secrets in my head Burn with urgency If I tell you one or two or three Can you keep them between you and me? There is a secretive and intricate dance occurring in the world around us. The choreography or the art of planning and arranging the movements, steps and patterns of this performance is characterized by the concealment of malevolent intentions and actions through empty gestures and fiend benevolence. This rhythmic movement of individuals, groups, and organizations, which is orchestrated at the highest, or more accurately, lowest level by the devil himself, is done with the sole intention of manipulating the masses in furtherance of achieving a distant goal. Because of the enigmatic, esoteric, and mystical nature of this subject and its connection to the metaphysical and intangible. Most people who are unaware of its existence when presented with evidence to the contrary tend to disregard and shrug off the information as mere conspiracy in the imaginations and ramblings of a madman. I assure you that this is not the case and I intend to prove it as well. The scriptures tell us this in Matthew 12, 25. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. In fact, the Latin phrase divide et impera is as old as politics and war. The divide your enemy so you can reign approach is attributed to Julius Caesar. This approach is still used, I might add, to great effect today. When Donald Trump was elected president in 2016, he became a polarizing figure which fractured and fragmented the American public, causing many people on all sides of the political, economic, and ethnic spectrum to separate into opposing groups. But you must remember, I told you that Donald Trump represents the 16th Trump Tower Tarot card, which brings destruction through chaos. An agent provocateur, which is French for inciting agent, is a person who commits or acts to entice another person to commit an illegal or rash act or falsely implicate them in partaking in an illegal act so as to ruin the reputation or entice legal action against the target or a group they belong to. The government uses these agent provocateurs to set up ultra-right or ultra-left-wing fringe groups and then they recruit people who believe in that ideology. The agents running these organizations use inflammatory rhetoric to recruit and target individuals who lack intelligence, confidence, self-esteem, and the ability to reason logically. They choose these types of individuals because they are mental midgets who are easily manipulated, most of whom show a propensity for violence or can be psychologically manipulated and tipped over the edge towards violence easily. The government controls the narrative by operating and controlling both sides of the opposition and they use either side to further their political agenda. We see a representation of this through the Masonic black and white checkerboard. Examples of this black and white dichotomy in the physical world would be Dylan Roof 
the white supremacist who walked into Emmanuel Temple, a predominantly black church, and opened fire on the parishioners. The polar opposite or reversed mirror image of Dylan Roof would be Emmanuel K. Sampson, a black man who walked into a church of white parishioners and opened fire as well. I mention all of this because I need to tell you of an experience I just went through. Remember I told you all how people connected to Parkland started contacting me through my business after I produced the video about the mass shooting at Stoneman Douglas. Well, that still continues to this day. In fact, just recently, I was contacted by this one guy who is a wealthy and successful businessman. I also believe that this guy is an agent provocateur. We'll call him Ron. Ron just so happens to be an Ashkenazi Jew and a strong supporter of Israel and Donald Trump. He was also connected to the Stoneman Douglas shooting and the Orlando mass shooting at Pulse nightclub as well. The fact that I believe that I am a Hebrew Israelite by birth and so-called African Americans are descendants of Israel and Judah in no way makes me hate this guy or wish him harm in any way, even though I know that he's an agent provocateur. That being said, Ron contacted my company in order to hire us for an event. Mind you, Ron has hired my company on two other occasions previously for huge events as well. I believe they had intentions of setting me up at those events also. However, because of Yah's protection, they failed. Despite the hidden malevolent intentions behind Ron's feigned benevolence, I have no ill will towards him. It is my opinion that Ron should be able to believe whatever he wants to believe and support whatever cause he wants to support. I could care less. As long as his actions do not threaten me harm in any way, I believe Ron, just like anyone else, should be free to express his political and religious views as he sees fit. Unfortunately, Ron and people like him do not feel the same way. Long story short, my company serviced this latest event and there were no issues. As a side note, I should mention that I do not attend any events serviced by my company as I have people who work for me to do that instead. And this is one of the reasons I believe nothing has occurred because I am not there to be set up, ambushed, or blamed by these agent provocateurs for committing some horrible atrocity that I did not actually commit. However, here's where things get a bit strange. The very next morning, I received a call from a guy who will call Sam. As it turns out, Sam is a member of a black Hebrew Israelite group. Sam asked to hire my company on the very next day after I had just serviced Ron's company. Do you see the irony? A day after I serviced an event for an Ashkenazi Jew who supports Israel and Donald Trump, the powers that be used an agent provocateur who is a member of a Hebrew Israelite group to reach out to me. This was a covert attempt to try and associate me with a group that has been placed on the Southern Poverty Law Center's report on hate and extremism as a black separatist group, which is, quote, interested in demonizing Jews and whites. As we just saw in the shooting incident in Jersey City, New Jersey, where a black man and his companion who were supposedly connected with the black Hebrew Israelite hate group allegedly attacked a Jewish supermarket 
because of their hatred of so-called Jews. Well, I'm not going for it. Let me say this unequivocally. I do not hate anyone. I do not wish to cause harm or commit violence against any other group that opposes my own personal beliefs. And I will not allow myself to be pigeonholed or characterized as a bigot, racist, or hate monger by agent provocateurs so that they can neatly fit me into their orchestrated dance with the devil so that I could be set up as a patsy or scapegoat and blamed for committing some false flag attack conjured up by these purveyors of Satanism, witchcraft and magic in order to silence me once and for all. It's not happening. I produced this video to serve as evidence and proof that there are people actively conspiring against me in case I am ever set up and falsely accused of committing some horrible crime. I have no desire to use violence as a tool to further my political or religious beliefs. On the contrary, I am being targeted because of the information I continue to expose about the orchestrated satanic blood sacrifice events that we continue to see occur in America almost on a weekly basis. Luke 17.1 declares, Then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible, but that offenses will come. But woe unto him through whom they come. We are living in the end times. Therefore Satan and those who serve Satan grow bolder day by day. If you haven't given your life to Yah by accepting Yahushua's sacrifice on the cross for your sins, the time to do so is now. Amen. Shalom.